So let me see if I understand what you're looking for. You need a build that can deal tons of damage. You need a build that can sustain like crazy, turn the tides of the battle, and allow you to outplay? My friend, that build does not... Oh, wait, it does actually exist. And it's exactly the build that I'm going to show you right now. It goes like this. You want to use Hunter Hood with the third spell, first pass. This makes you reflect 100% of the damage that you take, and you get applied a resistance buff. So basically, you are more resistant to damage, but you also reflect 100% of the damage that you take before the resistance buff is applied to you then this passive makes you deal more damage makes your healing cast increase basically you're gonna heal for more and increases your defensives by one percent almost one percent you have the same passive over here on the mercenary jacket which is the next uh, next item on the list you want to use the bloodlust ability the third ability this makes you heal for up to seven times whenever you deal direct damage and what is direct damage every single source of damage that you have on this build if you had something like poison that would be dot damage direct damage is basically the opposite of dot damage so just uh, yeah just to clarify this and you have the same passive then you want to have soldier boots or any plate shoes you can go with uh, with boots and just go in the market type boots and buy the cheapest option or get the one in which you have the highest spec you want to use the second ability rejuvenating sprint this makes you move fast and it heals you for 140 HP over 5 seconds. Pretty good ability and you want to have the second passive which increases your defenses by almost 2.5%. Greetings my fellow viewers. Fret not for I am Mogdan's trusty hat and I come bearing good news. If you enjoy watching my master's content on YouTube then you will be pleased to know that it's all recorded live on Twitch. By joining us on Twitch you'll not only get a sneak peek of upcoming videos but also have the opportunity to win giveaways and drops and just hang out with a lively and amazing community so come on over and join us now we're most likely live at this very moment click the link in the description down below or in the pinned comment to join us as an offhand you want to have the mui sack the cheap version would be the torch though i strongly suggest against using the torch even though it's cheap it's gonna make this build much less effective because the mui sack interacts very well with the mercenary jacket in a fact that besides doing a lot of other things it also increases your healing cast bonus, which is great. You're going to heal like crazy. Now talking about the most important part of the build, the weapon. You want to have the third Q? Here you might have a problem. The third Q is the last ability that you unlock. Pretty far off the leveling track. It's the last one, but axes are fairly easy to level up. So you shouldn't really have a problem grinding for this ability. If you don't have this and you still want to try this build, you can try it with the first Q. To be honest, as a new player, you might actually have better luck with the first Q because this Q is a skill shot in a way. I mean, you have to aim it and stuff like that. This Q is automatically targeted on your enemy. So in certain situations, you might actually be better off using this Q right here. But the reason this Q is very good is because without any cooldown, you can just apply two stacks or even three stacks if you use the third jump uh, instantaneously or almost in instantaneously on your enemy. Though I will advise... And I will explain why I advise to not use the third Q, just the first and second. But we'll get there. This basically deals damage. It has a three stage. As you, it has three stages, as you guys have seen. All of the stages deal damage, and all of the stages um, basically apply a debuff to the enemy that deals dot damage. So this debuff deals 89 damage, and it stacks up to three times. So it's actually going to deal quite a lot of damage. It lasts for six seconds. Now, whenever you reach the third stack, you're also going to apply a healing debuff. This is one of the best anti-heal weapons. I mean, the weapon line itself is one of the best anti-heal weapon lines in the game. But besides doing that, the Q also interacts very well with your E. Before we get there, there's another thing that you need to know about this, which is that the third Q, besides doing damage, also roots your enemy. Keep in mind, this is a root, not an interrupt. Meaning that if you want to interrupt something with this, you won't really be able to interrupt anything with this. This, this is just stopping them in place. And then you want to have the second W and sometimes you want to switch to the third one. Second W is a good default. This increases your move speed, your damage and your attack speed. This paired up with Mercenary Jacket makes a great combo for healing yourself up. Uh, as you guys can see right here. Look at the speed uh, with which I auto attack right now. And then look at the speed I will auto attack once this is over. It is a difference and uh, it's much easier to just pair this with Mercenary Jacket to heal yourself back to full. Not to mention that while you're at it, you can also do some Qs to heal for even more. Then you want to have your E. The E is very interesting. Just like the Q, it has multiple stages. It has two stages. First stage deals damage. Second stage heals you and deals a little bit less damage. Now, this damage and the heal is based on the amount of rending bleed charges. Basically, the Q stacks that you have on your enemy. If I have two stacks, I'm gonna deal 
Let me see, 798 damage before resistances. And I'm also going to heal for 255. So let's just show this as an example. I'm going to use 1E. E. And I dealt 333 damage. Now let's use the same E with 3 Q stacks. Just so, just so everybody sees the, um, the difference with this. Let me apply the third stack over there. And let me use the same E. Last hit will be 400 something. You saw that 400 something. So it's actually much, much, much more damage. Not to mention that you're doing more damage overall because of the dots also taking. Now the second E, just like the first E, heals more based on the amount of uh, charges that you have. So check this out. I healed for 460 something. And if I throw it again, I'm only going to heal for 116. The reason I heal for more than it actually shows over here is because heals are not dependent on the enemy stats or stuff like that. They're actually dependent on my own stats. And I get a little bit of a healing boost from this, from this, and most importantly, from this. Let me throw the second E without uh, using my R just so we can see exactly for how much I've healed for. The many years of playing, my son took me to the roads and I got my first PvP kill just now. Congratulations, man. That is great. That's a great son, uh, son in that moment. That's awesome. Hey boys, so check this out. I healed for 400 previously. Now I'm going to heal for 155. Again, it's still more than it shows over here because I do have those items that are boosting up my heals. This passive and this item. Talking about items that are boosting up your heals. I mean, not really, but helping you sustain is the food that you want to be using. The roasted pumice snapper. This makes you tanky by increasing your max HP and it makes you uh, steal from the damage that you take, steal uh, HP. 6% of the damage that you take will be converted into HP from you. So it's a lifesteal passive. Basically, then you want to have the healing pot for extra heals and a gigantify pot in case you're fighting against normal bows or um, fire staffs. Against fire staffs, this is amazing. As a cape, you want the Tetford cape. Only the Tetford cape works with this. If you go with a normal cape, you're gonna you you're just gonna not have a, you're not gonna have a good time. Honestly, not gonna have a good time. If you're fighting against any person who's using a ranged weapon, you want to use this. This is a dash that makes you heal. Basically, it decreases the heal received from uh, the person that you're targeting this with. So, like this, is how it's gonna look like boom this guy is gonna heal less i'm gonna heal more and on top of that there's also a dash this is very good to use for dodging certain abilities and stuff like that keep in mind this is not an iframe so you want to use this to dodge not to iframe it seems like an iframe so i just wanted to mention it because usually dashes in this game some dashes at least are iframe now chat enough talking about this build let's see it in action yeah that kind of sucks to be me Yes, I hit him. Yes, I hit him. Yes. Yeah, no, he hit me as well. Ah, come on. He outranges me. One eternity later. Man, I even popped my mercenary jacket because I wasn't sure if the, if the E on this is enough. But the E on this is definitely enough. He really misplayed with artillery. He never used his W. I don't know why. Bro. Boom! And oh, what? Just one shot? Man, I was staying so worried during this whole fight because I didn't want to kite. And I was thinking, is it a good idea that I'm not kiting? I was like, I need this skill. I need blood. And uh, yeah, that was um, kind of weird. I was hoping he would do something else, but still worked out, chat. Ah, I forgot I don't have heal pot. Okay, next time I lock onto him, I'm going to heal back to full. That's my plan, but I need my F.
Hey, opportunity arose. Opportunity arose, chat. Opportunity arose. Man, I messed up. I'm used to having healing. Po oh, what? An armored one. That's perfect, chat. Hey, that's pretty good. Okay, he confused that with mercenary jacket, which is great for me, actually. Nice juke. Ah, come on. Kind of dead, bro. Kind of dead, bro. He confused my W with mercenary jacket, which is perfection. I try to avoid that. Okay, he took more damage than I did. That's perfect. See, this is the rough part. I guess he's not gonna wanna engage. Okay, finally something good. Finally a hit. We connected, chat. I thought we didn't uh, have a connection. You know, I, I was just not feeling the connection. Nice dodge over there. Yes, yes, yes. This time it was not one pixel away anymore. Let me lock you in there. No! Ah, come on. Yes. Hmm. Shouldn't have used my E there. I think the bleed... Ah, no, the bleeds are not gonna kill him. But the mobs are. The mobs are. He dead. <laughs> Thank you. you. You are kind of going too fast, sir, you know? You are going pretty fast over there, you know? gonna get my e back very soon and boom bro what no 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 you're not resetting this you're not resetting this i don't care you're not resetting this you little fiend you're not resetting this you little fiendish creature let's go let's go i've expected that i mean to be honest i've expected an e not a w but still that's pretty good chat Watch us play live on twitch.tv slash Mogdan. This video was made possible by our amazing channel members. If you want to support by becoming a channel member yourself, you are going to get access to amazing emotes that you can use in the comment section or during live streams, member only polls and lots of other awesome perks. Shout out to all of you awesome badasses. Thank you so much for supporting us.